Hi, uh, my name is Thomas Soilis. I'm a class of 2018. I graduated from Guilford with a Bachelor's of Science in Geology. Um, Holly asked me to make a little video talking about what I do now post-graduation. Uh, currently, I work for um, Terracon Consulting uh, located in Greensboro. It's a national company, but we have a Greensboro branch. Um, actually, our office is right down the street uh, on Friendly Avenue. Um, I'm a geophysicist slash environmental geologist, uh, but I've also done geotechnical work and construction materials testing. Um, right now, as a geophysicist, a lot of what I do is locating um, buried objects, whether that's either utility lines or uh, un underground storage tanks or um, finding depth to rock, bedrock, things like that. Uh, and we use a variety of different techniques and equipment to um, find uh, the different things that we're looking for. Um, probably the most common thing that we do is utility locating um, and we do that in a variety of different ways so we look for uh, natural gas lines, uh, water lines, sewer lines, um, electricity uh, and fiber optic cables as, long as, as well as anything else that's kind of uh, might be buried like culverts things like that. Um, the two main pieces of equipment that we use is uh, the radio detector uh, RD8100. Um, basically what that is, it's kind of like a little wand uh, that has a handle um, and it emits a frequency um, that basically can detect different things. One of the frequencies is specifically for electricity lines, so anything that's powered it will um, make a noise uh, to let you know that you're right over it. Um, another one is it'll emit radio waves that's really good for finding metallic, metallic objects as well as like fiber optic cabling, um, different things like that. Also uh, natural gas lines if they're shallow enough. Um, and then it also has a frequency setting where basically you, with uh, another piece uh, that comes with it, um, you can hook on to uh, an above ground portion of the cable or metallic pipe. Um, and then the equipment sends a specific frequency through the cable. Uh, and then with the actual wand portion, you kind of trace it out and you're able to follow it uh, by matching the frequency. Um, another uh, piece of equipment that we use that's really useful for a variety of different um, things and goals that, uh, and processes that we're looking for is uh, the GPR, which is ground penetrating radar. Uh, we use a GSSI uh, SIR they're called um, but we have different forms of this the most common one is basically it's like a push cart um, so it like scrapes along the ground and you hook up a display to it and you can see almost like an x-ray what's below you uh, and depending on the environment and what you have the settings to you can see different depths and you can see different things uh, it's really useful for seeing uh, utilities as well as uh, seeing boulders or buried degree, uh, debris, excuse me, uh, different things like that. Um, generally what you'll see when you're, uh, if you go over something, you'll see like a little parabola or if you go over a tank, you'll see like, you know, like start low and then come up flat and then it'll come back down again. And then in the other direction, the uh, so if it's like a uh, cylindrical tank in the short direction, uh, you'll just see a parabola and then in the long direction, you'll see it uh, all the way across. Uh, things like that. Um, some of the other work that we do is we use seismic equipment. There's a variety of different types, um, but uh, basically we use seismic equipment to determine depth to bedrock as well as density of soils and um, some other things as well. Like sometimes we can tell basically how um, saturated the water is or the, um, the soil is. Um, but basically what we do for that type of testing is we have uh, these things called geophones and they're basically just like a little metal spike that you uh, stick into the ground and then you string them out in a line they're all connected and they connect back to like a central computer um, and we have these uh, little plates that we uh, we position one of them at the end of the line smack it with a sledgehammer a few times and that sends uh, basically waves through the ground and based on the response um, from each of the different geophones we're able to tell on the screen or the equipment's able to tell um, the density of 
what it's flowing through and you can create these sort of uh, profile of, of what the ground looks like. So we generally do them in an X um, or a plus sign. Uh, so we have sort of information in both directions. Um, that uh, actually takes a lot of effort. <laughs> Usually um, one line will take us an hour or two depending on site conditions and also what specifically we're looking for and how we have to set up. Um, and there's a bunch of other processes and different types of techniques that we use using with the various equipment, but those are sort of the basic ones that we use most frequently. Um, I would say if you are planning on being a geology major and are graduating and want to consider getting into consulting, um, be prepared for a lot of field work and a lot of hiking outside and a lot of carrying heavy things and a lot of long days. Uh, earlier this week I worked 16 hours or 17 hours in one day. Uh, today I did nine or ten, which is pretty standard. Um, but then again, some days I work like two or three hours. Uh, just it just kind of depends on what's going on and what the site requires. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a very quick um, rundown of what I do. Uh, if you have any questions, Holly Peterson has my contact information. Um, I've worked with Holly all throughout my college career, and uh, we still stay in touch. She's awesome. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know or let Holly know and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Have a great day. Good luck with your classes.